got a, a super chat question. Any comment on the EU Google 5 million antitrust fine? Should Google shrug and withdraw offering this service to the UN, to the EU? Um, certainly they should withdraw service from the UN. Um, wow, I mean, it's horrible. I mean, the, the fact that, that the EU has the power, that any government has the power, to, to, to inflict a fine like that on one of the most productive companies in the world, one of the companies that have changed all of our lives, that have in substantial, dramatic ways made the world in which we live better. Um, the, the, the fact that, that, that any government agency can do that is just a massive injustice and horrible. And, and I don't care what they have to say about, not what they say about Google. I think this is about something about Android and bundling the apps in Android and stuff like that. It's just so corrupt and so horrible and evil and, and disgusting. And, you know, the only thing is it's, it's, it's good that, um, it's good that, you know, the U S hasn't gone after Google yet, but it's just a matter of time before they do. I, I, I guess, I guess the justice department is too busy with time Warner buying. Um, what are they buying? Jonathan, remind me. AT and T. Time Warner. AT and T. No, no. Uh, AT and T buying uh, Time Warner, right? Um, they're too busy with that deal because who knows why they believe that that is an antitrust violation. But this kind of fine is just it, it, just so authoritarian and um, in nature, and it's it it is really horrible. Should Google shrug? I mean. Yeah, I mean, if Google shrugged, the world would change in, in dramatic ways. Um, but if it shrugs there, then it's going to shrug in other places as well. It, it's going to have to shrug across the world. Now, it's already shrugged for Google's credit. It, it, it shrugged basically in China. It would not play ball with the Chinese. And as a consequence, Google is banned in China and it's given up a big chunk of the world. Could Google do the same thing in Europe? You know, you would have to look at the business case, but yes, morally, that would be amazing if they did it. But then to, to be successful at that, they would have to be consistent then in shrugging when the U.S. government went after them. And I think it's just a matter of time before the U.S. government goes after Google and, and Apple and Facebook. Uh, I mean, Facebook, you've already seen the beginnings of that. Uh, and will they do it more consistently? And you know, it's a very difficult decision if you're a manager, particularly of a publicly traded company, because as a publicly traded company, your fiduciary responsibility is to shareholders. And how do you how do you calculate whether paying the fine or shrugging is better for your shareholders? Now, we know long term philosophically it's better for your shareholders, but they don't care. They're there for the money and you have to do a financial calculating. So, so look, it's a very the whole idea of shrugging is a very, very, very difficult proposition. And think about the shrugging in Atlas Shrug. When, when the businessmen shrug in Atlas Shrug, they don't just shrug. They, they, they don't just stop working in Europe. They stop working. And they go to a valley and, and they, they, have a, they have a life. And on top of that, they are working to ultimately change the world. So the whole goal is ultimately to come back into the world and change it. So just shrugging in one market without it being a moral shrug, without it being clear what your agenda is, without it being clear what the purpose is, that's a financial calculation. Now it's not a moral issue because is Google in a position to come out and say, I'm shrugging because I will not sanction my destroyer? If Google could do that, then they should shrug, but I don't think they can. So it really should be a financial calculation because they don't have the philosophical context to, 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 to really shrug properly. There's a good uh, lecture that uh, Greg Salamieri gave about when to shrug. It's on the Ayn Rand Institute. I'm pretty sure it's on the Ayn Rand Institute channel, YouTube channel. Uh, Greg Salamieri, something shrug. Uh, I can't remember the exact name of the talk. Maybe somebody on the chat here knows what it is and can tell us. But uh, I would recommend you go listen to that because I think that'll have a lot more uh, content about it. But I, I think if you're going to shrug, it has to be 
you have to know why you're doing it and you have to know what you're doing it for. And you have to, it can't just be, I don't like what the European Union is doing. If they, if they'd only, if they'd only penalize me a billion dollars, I wouldn't shrug, but $5 billion, that's over the top. No, it has to be a moral statement. And therefore you are willing to shrug no matter what the fine would be, but for it to be a moral statement, I don't think Google is in a position to make that kind of moral statement.